Here's one you're gonna love. Okay, it's how you got me here. Um, any of you remember that volumetric light video I made? Um, I got a bazillion comments saying they wanted tutorials for it. So here it is. Here is the map. Bit boring on this side, but right here you can see there's some kind of weird white mist. This is a custom texture I made. You can download it in the description. All right, this is the zombie room. Now what happens is when the player enters this trigger here, uh, oh god, give me a second, here, there's a nice funk breakable, I think it's called funk breakable, you can see the white, sort of the yellow lines going on there, lots of little blue dots, that breaks, of course you want to know about the volume actually, don't give a shit about the funk breakable, excuse my language, so here we have this prop static, um, World model is vol underscore model in the high folder, which I shall give you. Uh, not solid for collisions. Disable shadows, yes. Disable vertex lighting, yes. Disable self shadowing with vertex lighting, yes. Okay. <clears throat> the important bit is the way you treat it. Now, um, our light emitter is over here. This is the EMV underscore projected texture. You'll know this is the texture which uses which is used for flashlights in episode 2 and more recently I've put into um, Half-Life 2 uh, my talking isn't working today alright I've got an FOV of 40 you can see the other things here enable shadows yes shadow quality high and then whatever light color and brightness you want in my case I put it to 3000 I don't think that even makes a difference um, <coughs> but anyway what you really want to know is how to make the effect now here I have this model, um, if I move it away you can see that weird mist goes away, it's um, lots and lots and lots of parallel planes of white. Uh, it isn't too many so it doesn't lag too much but this will be a laggy effect so I recommend you only turn it on for people who have better computers, um, there are some parameters for that you probably already know about. Anyway, um, the orientation of this effect is very important because if you have it sort of side on, the player won't even see the effect or will see it very glitchy because um, the planes won't be you know, towards them. You want to have the planes facing them so the effect uh, casts onto each one and makes it look a bit like a continuous beam of light even though it's just shadows on several different planes. So here we have the green end, which is the y-axis, sticking towards the direction of our light. Not exactly in the direction, uh, doesn't have to be exactly. Um, anyway, the green end, uh, because for some reason uh, source is a bit annoying with normals, which is the way that a plane faces. And it just so happens that this has to be with the green end facing towards your light. And yeah, the, there's no other end, so you know, that's basically the only guideline you can follow. Uh, but what this achieves is the light casting through that doorway onto all of this, all of these planes, and the shadows mean that uh, you pretty much don't see what is in shadow, so it looks like an effect even though it's actually just a shadow being cast. Uh, that pretty much ends this tutorial, um, what you guys really want is the uh, the model to do it, but just so you know, green end pointing towards your light, and go make some volumetric light, I want to see it. Uh, remember to post video responses if you make videos, and uh, I don't know, just comments with uh, links to, um, to pictures. All right. Cheerio, hope you enjoy it.